Well, Hoosier native and longtime Indianapolis executive Brad Chambers is preparing to take the reins at the Indiana Economic Development Corporation as the state's new Secretary of Commerce. He is a private sector entrepreneur who founded apartment developer and real estate investment firm Buckingham Companies more than 35 years ago, actually while well, he was still a student at IU. He serves as the company's president and CEO. I sat down with Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb and Chambers this week to get their take on economic development momentum, what's in the pipeline, and why talent and workforce development are keys to success. Governor, I know uh, you are, have a lot of interest and I know are very excited about this $500 million approved by the legislature ready initiative, which is really focused on, on quality of place and talent and around the state of Indiana communities. Talk about, in, in your view, the importance uh, of this initiative and how it can make a difference in Indiana. Yeah, it could be the difference uh, for each community. I'll be speaking about this tomorrow uh, in uh, Spencer, uh, Indiana. I'll be down in Evansville speaking about it later this this week as well. And it's all it's all about you know like from an Indiana realtor's perspective, making sure your house is in order when guests come. And you never know who's going to be in your community or who's looking around to create their opportunity. So it's making sure the house is in order, making sure it's a place where people want to live, where people want to work. We know that working regionally is kind of the X factor in this, and so we're willing to as a state put skin in the game and uh, partner with local communities that are going to match that by a four to one ratio at minimum and so that 500 million all of a sudden becomes two billion plus and we've had a we've had some experience with this so this is about seeking out project um, worthy um, efforts, not just project ready efforts. So we're really trying to get people to think big, bold, and regionally so that opportunity um when it comes, you're ready. Yeah, and it's about talent too, right? It's that, about that talent, thing. attraction, retention, uh, grooming. It's about our universities. It's about more research and development coming here. Um, so again, you know, we've always been in that, you know, manufacturing and distribution space and, and excelled at it, but now we're trying to create more here as well. And, and quality of place, quality of life, this is what companies are looking for. Where do their employees want to live? And so um, it's, it's much more than just, you know, self creating selfie moments and, and good views. It's about breadth and depth of programs all coming together and aligning, whether it's got to do with health or wealth. Brad, Indiana's had some a number of economic development successes, but coming out of the pandemic and this, this challenging time, uh, as you look at it, does Indiana's uh, profile, if you will, or attractiveness mm -hmm. uh, change uh, for right. the better, maybe right. potentially coming out of the pandemic? Yeah, a couple things. Number one, wow, what a great job this governor has done coming out of the pandemic. I mean, we are strong, we are a lean, mean fighting machine, and we are leaning into that with his leadership. So, in Ready is just an example of that, and I, I don't want to underemphasize 500 million because it's really four to five billion and, and yeah. with leverage with communities matching it's a four to five billion dollar impact in it's it's throughout the state it's not just Indianapolis it's not just Fort Wayne it's everywhere and so that leads right into I think people in the pandemic took a collective a deep breath and said what do, you know it, re, it reoriented people's priorities right and and I think Indiana's got every bit to compete with Boston and New York and Austin and Nashville and others and so being able to invest and live work and play throughout the state and with people you know Salesforce is a great example it's a tech company and and a, a good percentage of their employees can live anywhere and people are choosing to live anywhere and we're the best anywhere that I know. And so um, I, I think we're in a really good position, not only fiscally, but from a leadership perspective, a creative uh, perspective, and we're leaning into our, our creative economy. So it's a pretty exciting time. Yeah. Governor, you uh, and your predecessors have put a, a real focus on, on global economic development, sure. if you will, yeah. and with success. We saw the Toyota announcement, $800 million, 1,400 additional jobs. Um, Solemptec, Precision Ag Company, a number of examples. How do you, will you look at global, international uh, investment in jobs going forward? Well, I've, I've uh, last month, uh, traveled around the world and and will continue to do that and and even increase it we'll we'll grow from the inside out and the outside in and we'll continue to take 
uh, our expertise to the world and, and uh, bring that back here, uh, onshore uh, opportunities right here in Indiana. We tripled our foreign direct investment um, just uh, on, on my watch. So we had good momentum when I came in, but we really accelerated that. And, and that all, again, I'll start where, you know, I'll, I'll return to where I started and say that this, this um, economic landscape has created uh, a lot of opportunities for us. We just made, you, you, coming out of this last legislative session, we made record investments in K through 12. We made record investments in our infrastructure projects all over the state of Indiana. We paid down debt. So again, as the secretary said, we've arrived in a much stronger position. So those folks who are anywhere in the world, if they're looking for a, a place of, of, of growth, and they're looking for a place of certainty and stability and predictability and continuity, it's Indiana. And uh, we, we're gonna also not just look to create more direct new flights around the world, but we're gonna be also doubling down on the promotion of uh, Indiana, baby. All right, very good. Well, uh, incoming Secretary of Commerce Brad Chambers, also Governor Eric Holcomb, thanks very much for joining us and giving us a preview of what to expect uh, uh, and what is next from uh, atop the Salesforce Tower with a great view of Indianapolis and the Indiana landscape. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Chambers will reduce his day-to-day -day involvement with Buckingham while he serves as Secretary of Commerce. Buckingham companies will not be eligible for state uh, incentives during his tenure with the state. He'll serve in the role for a salary of 99 cents.